In the development of the Tri-Service XC-142A, the Vaught Hiller Ryan team was the contractor for the project, which was based on the pioneering tilt-wing X-18 aircraft developed for the United States Air Force by Hiller Aircraft. The wing rotated through an angle of 100 degrees, providing hover capability in a tailwind. The higher the tilt angle, the shorter the takeoff. The first flight and first hovering flight took place in late 1962, with maximum gross weights of 35,000 pounds and 44,000 pounds in the short field takeoff mode and the vertical takeoff mode, respectively. Never before or since has a four-engine transport taken off from and landed on an aircraft carrier at sea. The combination of the aircraft's size, weight, and short distance takeoff ability was positively unique, giving it enormous utility for the efficient movement of tactical forces, as well as for short-haul commercial transportation. Further carrier deck demonstrations established the aircraft's compatibility with amphibious-based flight operations as it showed its ability to maneuver and turn on the flight deck. An impressive vertical takeoff is a clear demonstration of the aircraft's non-reliance on any runway at its destination or, for that matter, at its point of takeoff, demonstrating its impressive tactical utility. These demonstrations on a ship at sea are meant to establish the operational utility of the tilt-wing aircraft under the most restrictive conditions. Here, this large tilt-wing aircraft rises vertically with its wing up at a full 90 degrees and then hovers like a helicopter. But unlike the helicopter, there is no inherent forward speed limitation nor the weight penalties of large articulating rotor blades. The potential for air-sea rescue is demonstrated with a live pickup from sea of a victim in a life raft. With the size and weight potential of the tilt-wing concept, many more survivors per rescue sortie could be attained than that possible with even modern-day helicopters. The tilt-wing concept of VTOL transport aircraft was far ahead of its time. And, were it not for Cold War contingencies and other government procurement vicissitudes, the tilt-wing approach to vertical takeoff and landing might well have become the definitive role model for short-haul transport aircraft.